Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to take you on a little winter bedroom tour. I've taken down the Christmas decorations in here because I've been working on this wall. So I'm just gonna bring you in and show you this. For Christmas, I asked for a headboard and money to do shiplap in here because I really wanted to just kind of make the bedroom a little bit more special. So this is what I've been working on the past three days. I am finally done and I wanna kind of show you how the whole room came together. So first off, obviously is the headboard. I got that for Christmas from my parents. It's from Hay Needle, and it's just a really pretty, kind of like an oil rub bronze color. Now I asked for just the headboard because I don't have enough walking space in the room where if I put a footboard, you'd be bumping into things. So I did that. The shiplap came from Home Depot, and I'll put a link in the description box. It's a little more expensive, I think, than cutting up MDF boards, but all the work is done for you with these. They automatically space themselves so once you get the first few level you're just nailing boards up as you go and then I just used plastic lattice pieces as trim and then I went ahead and put my mirror back on and I switched out the Christmas greenery for Magnolia one of the saddest parts of me after the Christmas season is over is the lack of the greenery so I went ahead and brought that back in and then here on my end table I have that little Ikea Tarnaby lamp. And then the little amber bottle is from Magnolia, Hearth and Hand. I brought my crystal box back down. And then down here I switched up a little bit. I used to have just a stack of books there, but I went ahead and put them in that basket and I showed you that in another video. A company sent that to me for review. And the texture of it, it's just so soft. It works perfectly in a bedroom. And I can still keep my books in there. And then I used to have something underneath, but I took that out because I wanted to have a little bit more open space. So my husband's right now just has his little fan and I will go ahead and put his alarm clock back on. The greenery will stay in those window boxes until spring because it'll last as long as it stays nice and cool here. And the candles I'm gonna leave out for most of the winter because it's not specifically Christmas. It's kind of just warm and cozy and that's what I'm going for. Along with those little sweater hearts. They're kind of like a Scandi feel, so I'm going to leave them out. Now over here I had a Christmas tree, and if I had totally gone without greenery, I would have been really sad. So I brought in some snake plants, and they'll do great in this corner. These plants are really forgiving of low light situations, and if you forget to water them. So if you're just starting out, these are a great option. And these are just some planters from Marshall's last year, but I like the look of the black, white, and green. This is a little dough bowl from eBay. And then of course my grain sack behind it for some height. And then that's just the book I'm working on right now. I'm almost through it. Um, I have to be honest, I thought I would like this a lot more than I did. The Cozy Minimalist, um, I got that one before this. And that book I read through in like two days. It was so good. So if you're looking for a good home book, The Cozy Minimalist is a good one. This one's not bad. It's just not as interesting as I thought. I guess that's the way to put it. So then over here on the big TV area, <laughs> which you guys all know about because we talked about this in a vlog, I went ahead and just brought in some greens. And these are also ones that are good with low light. So that's a snake plant also. That's just a different version of a snake plant. And this is a ZZ plant. You can usually get these at Home Depot or Lowe's. Sometimes Ikea has them. These plants are amazing. They're great in low light. They have a really nice green look. Um, I've seen them in malls where they're huge. So hopefully mine will grow. But it's just a really nice green leafy color that you can get without a lot of sunlight. And then I just stacked it with some books and some wooden beads to kind of bring in some more natural elements. And then we'll come back over here to the bed. All the bedding I've shown before, um, the duvet cover is Ikea. That was uh, thrifted from the bins. The pillowcases in the back are from H&M. They're linen and they're a king size, so they kind of cover it perfectly. Those came with the set Shabby Chic, my uh, sheet set, and I love that set. So if you guys are looking, that's a good one. I also noticed that Hearth and Hand just came out with some new sheets. They have a linen cotton blend one which I'm kind of interested in, but I have to see it in the store because the color description is sour cream, and if it's too yellow, it won't work in here. And then those are some H&M pillowcases. These are also linen. 
and they just have the little zip in the back. The bed skirt is shabby chic. I picked that up on eBay. And then this rug was one of those crazy deals for Mugs USA where I ended up getting it for like $12. And then this other rug is an out indoor outdoor rug from Home Depot. It cost about $17, which is perfect um, because it's flat. And I had to shave down the door just to go over this stuff. So a flat rug works perfectly for me. But that's what I'm doing right now for winter in my bedroom to kind of uh, beat the after Christmas blues by bringing in lots of greenery. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. And as I get more spaces in my house done, I'll be sure to show you that too. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.